Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on Ansible modules. So um, Ansible modules, um, which are also referred to as task plugins or library plugins I've heard in the past, uh, they're basically just bits of code um, that you can use uh, for the command line or within it, within a play uh, within a playbook. Um, and allows you to have common actions um, pre-built into the Ansible code. Um, so for a good example, um, you may want to restart um, a service. So you wouldn't actually provide the exact command line to restart service. You'd actually just specify the service module and then what you exactly want to, want to restart and the state you want it to do it. So I want to restart the service, I'll say I want to restart it. Um, the name of the service is HTTPD, and that would essentially go do and go and do a reboot of that service. You've also got stuff like uh, you can obviously just run random uh, Pacific commands as well if that's something you're uh, you need it in a particular case. Um, as before, I've shown you before with the ping command, you can run a module just with the minus m at the command line. So for a lot of common quick tasks, uh, maybe re reboot a number of servers. You can use the minus m to do that, or you could obviously have it in a proper playbook, um, which I'll do a a very simple playbook today. Okay, let's crack crack into this. And what the first thing is, I'll do in another window or another tab, perhaps, we'll just ssh to the client. So this is the one we're going to manage via Ansible. So what I will do is just do a um, installation of HTTP. So yeah, we'll just install uh, HTTP, um, basically our website, simple website onto this server, uh, just so we can, that's HTTPD, uh, so we can actually, um, we can then manage that service um, using Ansible in the, in the next example. Okay, yep, let that install. Okay, while that's installing, we can do the next part. It won't take long anyway. Okay, so I've made, I'll we'll just go as root. Okay, so if I go to cd root, I think I've created a directory, yeah, modules 101. So I've just created a very simple inventory file, um, which just has literally just that client one, because that's what we want to do and manage today um, for the sake of this. So first things first, let's see. Okay, that's all installed, so great. So let's try the first, do the first example. Let's do a Ansible minus i and we're doing inventory and minus m and then the module we want to use so let's just do the ping example again and then which one we want to uh, which one to ping so we can just do client one and you can see we've got a successful pong back so it's just use the um the ping uh, module to do that ping so let's go and do a bit more of a um, complex one. Let's do, if we move this around slightly, so let's just do client one, client one, and then minus M. Um, let's do command, and then minus A is an argument, and then this is the command you want to run. So uh, let's do system ctl status http d you can see the response is here so it's come up in red do you know why because the status is inactive so we're getting a non-zero return code so actually this is what ansible can be used for so we could have um you can see the power in here so you could have it's returning non-zero, so that means it's stopped. So we know that we can actually 
with that non-zero return code we could then take that and say let's do a systemctl start httpd and we can start it up and if we run that status again we should now get a change status which is fine so we can see exactly what's reporting back and if we go to the actual client itself and just do a ctl status httpd we can see it's active running which is great so it's exactly the same output we are getting in here as well so other things you could do is we could potentially run and reboot the server so that's a common command you may run so we'd have to be very specific where we run it because we won't have all it may not have all the environment variables for this user so that's got a connection closed so obviously that is now rebooting so what can we also use from here we could actually have the um, the ping command running it's taking a little while so it doesn't sound great yep it's still timing out we now have it's a client success again so that servers back up so that works nicely so you can see the power in that obviously we could do lots of things with that we could do yum update yum install yum remove all that kind of good stuff so now the next thing i really want to do is ha um, have a module inside a very simple playbook so let's go ahead and create our very first playbook let's use vim because it's quite powerful for this sort of thing so so vim reboot hyphen servers dot yml for yaml so yml dot yml for yaml files and then insert and then three dashes at the top to represent that it's a yaml file and then space dash hosts so which host you want to target and we're going to say all we don't need to become um, we can then do tasks so what we actually actions are we going to have and let's do we're going to do a dash and then command and then what we're going to actually run so we're going to do just reboot and that's it that's your very first um, Ansible script now we're going to see how Ansible likes it so Ansible hyphen playbook reboot servers and then minus i inventory and now you can see um, we get Ansible playbook reboot servers yaml minus i in inventory what we do get is a command failed because it's connect failed to connect let's see why it's failed has it actually rebooted it definitely has so though in this case uh, because the client's not re re reporting anything nice um, because of the way it just rebooting uh, you'll just see a fatal command even though it's actually worked so what we actually wanted has actually happened it's just the uh, Ansible doesn't handle that that well so let's create um, another playbook to restart the service so rather than reinvented the wheel I, I never like to do that let's CP the existing one and we'll do restart um, HTTP D dot YAML and then we're going to do VIM and then restart HTTPD dot YAML and so we've got hosts at all so you might have a specific types of host that this would be um, applicable for in this case is all hosts so um, any host that I target with the inventory file it would again go and attack all of them um, so <laughs> all hosts reboot is kind of dangerous but yeah um, for the sake of this lab it's uh, it's probably okay but we could say client host client one for example and it would only go through the list and look for anything that's client one or web servers or whatever is in your um, inventory file and that's all covered in that previous video so in the task now we're going to change slightly so rather than a command we can actually have a service 
and then we're going to have a name so it's the name of the service so name will be HTTPD and then the state will be restarted so it's going to restart the service so let's right quit that let's check if that server's back up um, so let's just do an Ansible minus M um, ping and then minus I inventory and then client obviously I could just say um, potentially just say all in that case because it's only got one client in the inventory so ansible hyphen playbook to call the playbook and then it was restart httpd minus i inventory so it's like my file so far so it's gathering the facts and um, we've got unsupported okay, so okay so it doesn't like what i've got for that um, so let's see what the options are unsupported param supported parameters are um, change it for unsupported. okay so we've got user state okay so now let's have a look so if, when if this happens and what we can do is have a look at the ansible doc so ansible doc and then we go to service and then we can have a look at the ansible module for service and what we can actually do so we can say whether it should be started on boot we can say different run levels so state restarted is what I thought I had will always bounce the service yep so it's state I did put state didn't I and restarted let me go check I'll put status that'll do it so state is restarted and if we do a, a clear now rerun the command we should be in a good place okay so we've got a changed status so that means it's actually applied an action on the system um, and we can so we can do a quick one um, so if we go back into the Ansible doc for the service we can do we look at the state And we can check if it started or stopped in these ones. So we've got lots of options here. Oh. So what we can do now is again restart HTTPD to status HTTPD. okay and we can change that to state from restarted to just started or oh, just because we got rid of the restart and now we'll see what happens so So we run the uh, playbook and we just got an OK message. So that means uh, it's not taking any action, but it's checked and everything is A-OK. -okay. So that could easily be a um, an option to have as a, a script that you have running regularly that restarts the service if it's not starting, for example. So we could easily have, let's go back into this server from here. Go back onto the client, sudo system ctl stop httpd. Okay, and if we do a status on this, you can see it's not loaded. And we could do the run the same command again. And we can see it's actually changed this time. If we go back onto the client, it's actually got it back running. So it's 
really quite nice and easy command for something like that something as simple as a service and making sure it's running um, so yeah it could easily uh, be a regular thing you'd have as a script or something yeah so I did as I did just show you there um, with, with a bit of troubleshooting is the ansible doc command so you can do we can do doc for yum for example that's a good one um, we can do you can do lots of the the same stuff you can run in the command line um, in in this so we can say install list lame yeah etc etc state it's it's not exactly some of it's not overly intuitive um, you may find you end up going a bit around the houses to find the solutions to things but if you read the documents you'll find the way to do everything it's pretty good one of the things you can do is ansible hyphen doc and minus l this will take a few seconds and this list the sheer <laughs> number of modules available so there are a hell of a lot there but you can search so free search for yum we know we've got yum and we can manage repository we've got stuff like yabix as well it's quite pretty cool um yeah you can see a lot of this stuff so we've got that service one we have a hell of a lot of actions here so search service here we can find it here it's yeah yeah service step so i'd have to just do a reverse search to find now otherwise but yeah you can manage a hell of a lot of things in your system using these um, modules and once you start playing with the modules you realize that, um, especially the ones that are specific to your particular use case they are very very powerful and they can do a lot of things in an automated fashion where you couldn't before so uh, for a good example i had um, a load of different types of systems um, all part of a one larger um, application and all these systems were completely managed by um, Ansible. So Ansible allowed us to, if we had any troubleshooting, we may just reapply the the current correct config to all those systems or reinstall particular applications. So we can have it just go through and uninstall everything and then go through and reinstall everything all without us having to actually go and touch the machine itself. So, and it also does it in such a repeatable manner. That means that you don't have things where I don't know, someone's forget to install a particular component or installs a different version. You're not going to get any of that with uh, Ansible. You're going to get all the exact same version, all the ex exactly the same way configured. So you're going to get everything in a repeatable fashion. So it does mean that when something fails, it does fail pretty spectacularly. But with the, all the automation there, you've got such power to, to ensure that everything's aligned as it should be. Well, that's about all I wanted to cover for Ansible modules. Um, yeah, I'll put some um, links in the description for a bit more information. Um, yeah, thanks for watching as always. So that concludes the video. As as always, I've um, popped on the screen now my Ko-fi page. Um, that's a great place to um, donate if that's something you're interested in um, to help support the this channel. Also, I've put um, the T Public page for any merchandise uh, I've got. So I've got a few T-shirts and stuff like that. If that's anything you're interested in, and uh, finally, I've put my uh, Discord server details, um, as well as in description for these things, um, details so you can uh, chat there. Uh, I'll try and answer questions when I've got uh, a spare few minutes, and uh, try and help you out where I can. Thank you.